Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So basically, Bambi and Mama D. Um, if you guys have been watching Love and Hip Hop, <laughs> um, this whole show is a mess, but. Scrappy and Bambi are going through a divorce. Bambi swears up and down that Scrappy is broke and he doesn't take care of his kids and all this stuff. Uh, Scrappy says that, you know, Bambi is lying on him. Uh, Mama D is spreading rumors that Scrappy got Diamond pregnant. Scrappy's saying that he's never, you know, he hasn't smashed Diamond in years. So anyways, um, as Bambi was telling her story, Rashida and all the, you know, the girls, Erica, uh, Serena, is her name Serena? Sierra, Sierra. They were all feeling bad for her. You know, that's their girl. And so Mama D feels like, well, you know, you really shouldn't be feeling bad for her, Rashida, because she was in the bathtub with, <laughs> with uh, Kirk and Benzino. And she could have messed with your man. So why do you feel bad for her? She was a homewrecker. So this entire situation is messy, but we're going to, you know, get a good old chuckle out of this and watch this before. This is Mama D. Because I wasn't paying attention that she was in the hot tub with all these men. And when Rashida took up for him, I'm like, Rashida, you about a few minutes. If Kirk had looked the other way, you might have been got too, girl. Okay? Come on now. We know how Kirk can be. So, you know, don't be all on Ben's side because you won't want. Okay, now. All right, now. Don't get a taste taste of that when somebody gets you again with your man. I'm telling you, you got to be careful. You can't take up for lying women. Because you, he he was a few inches from being got his goddamn self. You remember that? Now tell me a lie. Tell me I'm lying. Okay? And just that and Banzino hit it that night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And y'all know I'm not lying. He love you, honey. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Yes, that's what I'm trying to tell you. See, when people say when people come tell y'all, you know, I met Mama D. She real nice. And I know Mama D. <laughs> Mama D's a mess. Okay, so let me go ahead and um read the rest of this here. So Bambi ends up responding, you know, in responding back to Mama D. And so Bambi shows a picture of her and Benzino in the hot tub. And she says, this was such a fun time of my life. Benzino was always hella cool with me. I think y'all just don't like how he look. I know it's hard to fathom being able to date without having sex with people, but it's a real thing. In over 10 years, nobody has seen me with anybody other than the person I was married to. So I would never let a bitch with loose teeth or the internet make me feel bad for living my life. This weird ass... <laughs> This weird ass lady is obsessed with me. <laughs> Where was this energy from my mom when she was beating the brakes off your ass? Talk about that. Pure example of a bitch getting her ass beat and still won't shut up. Pills, liquor, and the internet is a volatile cocktail. I'm going to let these blogs grab this since you need some attention. Next time that tooth fall out, roll it up and smoke it. Holiday heart. <laughs> Delete and sue. Ooh, the shade, honey. So Mama, Mama D responds back as if she didn't start this. Let's go ahead and listen. So now I'm responding, Bambi. Don't fucking come for me because I know the gut that you don't did. Don't make me make a phone call to the Social Security office on your mom. I will call and the police will be at your door before it get dark. Don't forget. Motherfucker had them kids for free. Told goddamn Medicare that you didn't have a job. Don't come for Mama D. I'm going to tell you. You got to shut up. Get back. Get back. Get back. Because you got a paper trail, boo. And you've been working for uh, VH1, Love and Hip Hop, for a minute. Why did you not have no money to pay for labor and delivery? Don't come for me. 
And you lied. You still lied on federal paperwork, okay? You don't run a store. People send and buy stuff from you and they don't get it. They don't get their money back and you don't answer the phone. You all know Mama D don't even act like that. Tried to take it easy on that but now I'm finna, she don't open the floodgates. So I'm finna tell the whole world about her and the fucking mama. Con artist. All they do is run game on people. Yeah, you ride the right game on Scrappy. But he had, he came out that nod he was in. Oh, he woke up out that nod. And I'm glad my son got the fuck away from this poison. Now run everybody and tell that. Because when she respond to this, I'm going to show the world proof. I was going to wait. I was going to wait. But now I got to spit some of this shit out so y'all see that Scrappy it, it loves his children and he takes care of his kids. And I, when I seen the crown teeth, I said, what's she crying for? Because she knows she's lying. All right, child. Let me... <laughs> Mama D, Mama D, Mama D. Y'all know Mama D do not play. <laughs> and Mama D is cool peoples. She came to my um event in Atlanta. A lot of y'all got a chance to meet Mama D. And like she told y'all during the event, you know, she gonna keep it real. Who she is is who she is. Um, She's definitely messy. She keeps up a bunch of mess on love and hip hop. But again, this just goes to show you too, like I always say, like on these reality TV shows, everything that glitters is not gold. A lot of these folks are not living that life. And even Mama D talked to us about that, you know, during the event, that a lot of these folks, they put on a front on social media and they're not living that life. Because I don't understand how, you know, a few seasons ago, everybody was living in, man they were moving into mansions and wearing, you know, high in this and high in that. To now everybody's doing welfare scam and Medicaid fraud and you know what I'm saying and uh, Scrappy's having to like live out of his car. It just it doesn't make any sense. But that's how you know a lot of people are not making the money that they you know act like they're making on reality television. And that's one thing I've always told folks, even when I lived in LA, because I, I learned a lot when I lived out there. And that's one thing I always told y'all that if you want to work in the industry. Work behind the scenes. It's the people behind the scenes who make a bulk of the money. Because when you work in front of the camera, your payoff, quote unquote, is the fame. See, when you're working behind the scenes, nobody knows who you are. You get to keep your anonymity and you get money. You get producer credits. You get writing credits. Um, you know, like Mona Scott, she doesn't have to exploit herself on Love and Hip Hop. And she's rolling in the mud. She's rolling in the, you know, in the money. She's created this huge franchise, but everybody in front of the cameras had to export themselves and they're getting peanuts. A lot of these folks only make less than 30,000 a season. You're lucky if you can make 60,000 a season, you know? So a lot of them only make like maybe five, $10,000 $10, an episode. And again, it depends on who you are, how popular you are, things like that. So most people on reality television, they're not making money like that. I think one of the most successful franchises is the Real Housewives. Um, and I know Real Housewives of Atlanta, the most highest paid is Candy. So she makes really good money. But the average reality TV star is not making money like that, especially like on Love and Hip Hop. Don't get me started on the baddies. They're not making no type of money like that. Natalie Nunn is walking away with a big bag. You know, she's the executive producer. So... I think that's the part that's just like kind of unfortunate is that all these folks put their their life out there, put their business out there, and they're just exploiting themselves. And then when it's said and done, a lot of them end up breaking up, going through divorces. But it's still kind of sad, though, to see Mama D dragging her because at the end of the day, the, you know, she's still the mother of her grandchildren, you know. So the grandkids got to look back at this. So I think her and Bambi, they just need to figure something out or just not deal with each other, but they need to keep it off of social media because at the end of the day, your son chose her and your son has not one, but three children with her. And so it's the babies that are going to be affected by all of this family drama. You know what I'm saying? So the whole situation is just, it's crazy. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV 
the show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.